Hi everybody, this is Chase again, and today we're going to continue our series of training videos on the BookPort Plus. Today we're going to install the book transfer software, which allows you to send files and books from the computer to the BookPort Plus. It comes on a CD in the box with your BookPort Plus, and on that CD is this software as well as the documentation for your new device. I'm going to install book transfer on my netbook, so I'm going to need to use a USB CD drive. I have the disc here, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into my CD drive over here. And the software will come up, the installation will automatically pop up and start speaking if you have a screen reader open. And you heard Windows recognize that there's a CD. And the CD is now spinning up. That book transfer one period zero period zero period zero second. Install button. All night. Now you heard my speech say AF, which is actually APH, book transfer 1.0.1.0.0 setup. So that is book transfer, and that's just the version number. Now we have a setup button. If we tab, we have documentation button. A document a documentation button so you can read the manual. What's new button? All W. The what's new. Exit button. All E. And exit. And that will just get you out of this. Now if we tab again. Install button. All night. We're back at install. And this is what you want. Now, if you don't want to read the documentation now, or the, or the what's new, you don't have to. That'll be installed with book transfer to your computer's hard drive. So we'll just go ahead and press enter on install. And the installation should Set begin. Book transfer. Welcome to the book transfer setup wizard. This will install book transfer one period zero period zero period zero on your computer. It is recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Click next to continue or cancel to exit setup. Next button. All end. Okay, so that just told us what we were doing and to close all programs. Now I have all programs closed except for my screen reader, which is fine. So we'll go ahead and click on Next. To continue, click Next. If you would like to select a different folder, click Browse. Editable text. C colon backslash program files at book transfer. Now you don't need to do anything to that. That is basically just telling the computer where this program will be installed to, but you will not need to mess with this. So we can just tab. Browse. Button. We have a Browse All button are. if we wanted to select a different location, but we don't need to. What it provides is just fine. Back button. So we have All a back button if we wanted to return to the previous screen. Next button. And we have a next All button. End. So we'll go ahead and press spacebar on this button. You could also use enter. Ready to install. Setup is now ready. to begin installing book transfer on your computer. Okay, setup is now ready to use or to install book transfer. So cancel button. We have a cancel button if we wanted to quit the installation. Click install to continue with the installation, or click back if you want to review or change any settings. Read only text. Destination location. And then this is just telling us what we've already selected, what options we've selected. Back button. So we'll Alt tab, key. we have back, install button. and install. All so right. if we press enter. Installing. Please wait while setup installs book transfer on your computer. Cancel button. 6%. 8%. 52%. So it's installing. 99%. Completing the book transfer and set up book wizard reader. Installing. Please wait while setup installs book wizard reader on your computer. Cancel button. 9%. Now it's 9%. also installing book wizard reader, which is another APH product, which can allow you to work with the daisy books that you are sending. 56%. This is not a full version of Book Wizard Reader, it's just a demo which does enough to let you work with the books and the files you set need. Book transfer. Completing the book transfer setup wizard. Setup has finished installing book transfer on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting the installed icons. Click finish to exit setup. Finish button. And we're automatically on the finish button, so I'll just press enter. 
F book tra- F book transfer one period zero period zero period zero setup. Install button. All guys. Now we're back Start at that program button. All S. Initial screen that we were at when we put in the CD, but we have an extra button this time. So we have documentation, what's new, exit, install, or start program, because it's now installed. Now, I don't want to do anything at this point, so I'll just go ahead and... Oops. What happened was I bumped my trackpad with my finger and I got out of it, but if I alt-tab back to it... I have cl- I've closed that window. So now I can take the CD out of the drive. Put it back in its case, or its little sleeve, and begin working with the book transfer software and sending books. That's all for this video. I just wanted to show you how to install the software. In the next video, we'll go ahead and take you through the software and how it works and go through the options and begin sending a file or two to the bookport.